something meaningful say something i don't know i want hey everyone welcome back to my channel my name is jocelyn and this is life with jocelyn christina if you're new and this is your first time to my channel welcome so in today's video this is going to be more like a vlog i have some errands i have to run today and then i also saw a really good recipe for a crock pot or the slow cooker and I wanted to try it out with you all today so we're gonna be doing that today and if I have time I'm gonna to try to stop by the store and do a little bit of shop with me vlog today as well so before we get started I wanted to share with you what I'm wearing for today okay so this is what I'm wearing today this is the sweatsuit outfit I showed you all in my last video that I bought from Nordstrom Rack it is by the brand Topshop it's super comfortable very oversized this is actually a size medium in both the top and the pants but I feel like um, I mean it's comfortable for me it just depends on how you like to wear your sweatsuits if you like to wear them really baggy or if you like, if you prefer for them to be kind of um, more form fitting or more fitting to the body. So it's up to you, but this um, I like, it's very loose, very baggy. You can see it's, it comes like well over my hand. So um, I like this kind of feel cause it feels really comfortable. I like the inside lining of the sweatsuit because it has this kind of soft, um, like, um, Kind of soft furry feel on the inside it is very very comfortable there aren't any pockets on the um, hoodie part but there are pockets here on the pants part i like the sides of the hoodie they have these cute little splits on the side um, and it does have a hoodie here up on the back of it and then the pants are like super comfortable they do have this drawstring here that you can tie and um, you know adjust how tight you want the pants around your waist. Um, super nice and comfortable. I really like the pants. I like how they feel. And so yeah, just a nice, casual, comfortable sweatsuit to wear to head out and uh, run some errands. I am wearing my, these are my Nike sneakers. I bought these, I think from, I bought them a while ago. I think they're from Finish Line or Champs. And I bought like three different colors and i really like them they are super comfortable hopefully you can see them so i really like them but yeah so this is what i'm wearing today so i am gonna go ahead and head out i have to run and take my boys to get a haircut and then we're gonna stop by walmart and pick up a new slow cooker because the slow cooker that i have the the bowl on the inside of the slow cooker it cracked so I have to get a new one so we're gonna go pick up a new slow cooker they're very inexpensive like 25 30 dollars and then um, we're gonna come back home and I'm going to start that slow cooker recipe it's like a chicken stew with non bread it looks really really amazing so hopefully it turns out great so I'm excited to share this recipe with you all and then I also want to work out today so we're gonna go downstairs into the basement and get on the Peloton and work out and that's it and just get ready for a new week so all right let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna head in the car and then we're gonna go run and take my boys for a haircut All right, hey guys, I am back home. Hopefully you can see me. I'm in my kitchen. So I went and took my boys to get a haircut and then I went by Walmart and picked up a few things as well as this slow cooker over here. So I picked up a slow cooker so that um, we could cook this recipe. I'm like super excited to try and share with you guys. And before I do, I actually wanted to show you something I picked up from Walmart. They had so many awesome like home decor items. Our next shop with me video might be at Walmart because they have a lot of really cute home decor. But let me show you what I got. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay, so I got this really cute butter dish. I know I showed you the other one I got from the Dollar Tree, but Walmart had this one and I just thought it was like super cute. And then I just put my butter inside in here. 
it's like really large, very spacious on the inside. It even holds like two sticks of butter. So I thought this was like really nice and I just love the wooden top. I thought this was just so cute. So I picked this up. It's like easy to open and grab your butter from the inside and it like matches like all my other kitchen decor. I thought it would be like really great to like go right here in my kitchen. I'm not sure if I, it should go right here on the counter or if I should like maybe put it in the center of the stove, but I just put it right here for right now. I think it looks really cute. And then I wanted to show you what I did with the other items I got from the Dollar Tree from the last video. So that one picture I just put right here on the counter next to the two jars. I think it looks cute right there. At least I'll leave it right there for right now. And then I also put the other picture right here next to the um, container that I'm using for all of my different kitchen tools and spoons. So I just put that right there. I think that looks cute right there. Let me just move this over here so you can see, see it better. So I think that looks cute right there. Let me know what you guys think, if that looks okay right there. Um, I think so, or maybe it should go like this. I'm not sure if maybe it should just be like that, but I just wanna put it somewhere here on the, on the kitchen counter. And I think it looks really cute that way. But let me know what you all think. The other two items I just put over here, I'm gonna move this toaster out of the way, but I bought these little two signs. One says hot cocoa and one says coffee. I just thought these were so cute. So I just put them over here where my coffee is and they actually light up on the back. I just wanted to show that to you because I didn't know that. So see, this is so cute. They like light up, which I just thought was adorable to have and they both light up. So just really, really cute. So I just put this over here for right now. I think they go really nice in the coffee bar area like that. But yeah, let me get back to what we're cooking for today. I wanna show you this uh, Hamilton slow cooker. So this is, the Beach Hamilton slow cooker that I bought. And let me read what it says. Now I really got this because it says stay or go. It's programmable, programmable. <laughs> Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. So I got that because I like that. It seems like you can stay with it or you can go and you can program it to cook for a certain uh, amount of time without worried or uh, without any worry or concern of it overcooking or burning or anything like that. It's also um, something that I wanted because it serves up to eight people. This is actually the Spanish side. Let me turn it around to the English side, but it is a seven quart um, stay or go slow cooker and it it feeds up to eight people which is what I really want so it does say it's perfect for families potlucks and parties it serves um, you know eight or more people actually so I thought this would be really great I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the box and then we are going to cook this uh, chicken stew recipe let me show you the ingredients that I have for this slow cooker recipe for the stew chicken so we are going to be using some organic chicken thighs these are boneless skinless chicken thighs and I wanted to make sure to go with organic because Organic is a healthier option. I am going to eat more healthy and more clean from here on out. So I wanna make sure I get all organic foods. And then I also picked up um, sweet potatoes. These are organic cube sweet potatoes. And I have two red onions for the recipe you only need one but i'm doing double the recipe just because it's for myself and my two boys eat a lot so i have two organic red onions and then i have two of these um what do you call it hot peppers we call these peppers two of these habanero peppers and then i also have some fresh cilantro here and then, um, not this salt, I don't know why this is here. And then I have heavy cream. I'm going to add red pepper flakes. It isn't in the recipe, but I'm just gonna add red pepper, red pepper flakes because 
Um, I like my food a little bit spicy. <clears throat> and then I have black pepper, which we're gonna add. We're also gonna be using this garum, what is this? Yeah, this garum masala seasoning. I've never tried this before. If any of you have tried garum masala seasoning, let me know down in the comments below if it's good. So hopefully that will taste good. And then I'm going to be using uh, cinnamon sticks as well. And we also have tomato sauce. I have two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce, no salt added and then kosher salt, and I also just have some butter as well. So these are all the items that we're gonna be cooking with, with the slow cooker. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the slow cooker, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started with putting all of these items in the slow cooker and cook this delicious chicken stew. Um, the other thing that this recipe calls for is non bread. I do have the non bread. Let me actually get it out of the fridge. Just bought this like yesterday. I just put it in a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge so it would stay fresh. So I have three pieces of non bread. We're gonna take one of these breads and put it into the recipe. And then the other two slices um, we're gonna use to eat. So I'm just gonna add the non bread here also. So let me go ahead and get started and let's get started with this recipe. I'm super excited. This meal takes seven hours to cook on low heat uh, using the slow cooker. So I'm actually just gonna be going ahead to, you know, get this meal prepared. I like to cook good, delicious meals, but I also like them to be easy because I have two boys and it's really important that I can, you know, prepare meals that are easy and quick that I can just either, you know, let it cook on its own. I actually watched a YouTube video recently by Stephanie Rose and she did a meal using her slow cooker. And so I was like, oh my goodness, why haven't I thought about that? Like I should definitely, I should be using a slow cooker. Like I haven't used my slow cooker and I don't know the day. So, um, you know, shout out to her. It was like encouragement to say, hey, you can also cook meals using your slow cooker as well. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use the slow cooker. I'm gonna make this meal and then I'm gonna check in with you in the morning um, to see how it turned out. Hopefully it comes out really good, but I'm super excited. Okay, so this is the lid that we're gonna be using for the slow cooker. Then it just comes with the, um, this is like, I guess the manual here for the slow cooker. And then this is the inside bowl that where you're gonna, you know, where I'm gonna be putting all the food inside here. This is the base of the slow cooker. This is what it looks like. So it has all these different settings here, which I'll show you more close once we get started. wash this i'm just going to dry it off and then put it over there and then we're going to start putting our items in to the slow cooker dish i honestly don't remember the last time i've used a slow cooker it's definitely been probably a year since the last time i've used the slow cooker I'll definitely be making more slow cooker meals in the future because you know i want to like cook more meals that are like easy to prepare 
and cook. And, you know, especially using a slow cooker, you know, you could just prepare your meal, let it cook, and you don't have to worry about it, so. Now that we have our bowl cleaned, I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna get started and start putting our items inside the bowl here. My non bread here. Non bread smells so good. It's like a garlic butter flavor non bread. Now, let me show you. I just have my non bread in here. It's all like crumbled up into tiny pieces. I'm gonna just adjust the camera so you can see me cutting up the red onions. You might not see all of my face, but you should be able to see me just cutting the onions. Thank you. 
your dad, your dad's on the phone. Hello? All right, so here are the slow cooker settings. We have temperature, warm, low, and high, on, off button. And then here you can set it for however many hours you want it to cook. Okay, so that's it for the slow cooker um, meal. I'm super excited to try this. I know it's gonna be like so delicious. So I'm like, I can't wait to try this. So I will check in with you in the morning on the meal. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna go ahead and get in a workout before I go to bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my clothes, put on my workout clothes, and I will meet you all downstairs on my Peloton bike. See you downstairs. What's up, Peloton? My name is Cody Ringsby. Welcome to your 30 minute pop ride. Boom! Good morning, it is the next morning. I'm getting ready to go to work. So, but I wanted to show you how the food came out. So let me go ahead and turn the camera on so I can show you how the food came out. Okay, so I was just in here. It looks delicious. I'm just stirring it to mix in the cream. And it smells so good. So it looks really good. You can see the little green peppers in there. And then I also made some rice as well. So we have some rice to eat later for today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and this is what I'm gonna take to work for lunch with a slice of naan bread. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plate this just so you can see what it looks like plated. All right guys, so this is how it's supposed to look plated. So I have my naan bread here on the side and then i have my meat and my sweet potatoes and peppers everything and then this is that creamy sauce around the outside it looks so delicious i can't wait to dip my naan bread in this sauce and dig in and eat all right so i'm actually going to go ahead and just do a quick taste test i'm going to take this to work with me but i'm going to do a quick taste test to see how this tastes Hopefully it tastes good. It tastes really, really good. Like the chicken is so soft and tender. It like melts in your mouth. The potatoes are so soft, soft as well. And I'm like glad I added the heavy cream because it makes the like broth so nice and rich and creamy. Mm -hmm. It tastes really, really good, guys. Like, so good. I do want to show you these, um, like, breakfast bars that I eat. This is apple cinnamon breakfast bar. It's by, what does this say? Um, it says Easy Over or Over Easy. I picked these up from Whole Foods. I've really been liking these. They actually taste pretty good. So I've been eating these for breakfast. I like a breakfast bar, like a meal replacement for breakfast. Tastes really good. Tastes like apples and cinnamons and it has a good amount of protein in it. Nine grams of protein. It, have seven, it has seven grams of fiber. It is gluten-free. 
and it doesn't have a lot of um, sugar or sodium in it as well so yeah so I just wanted to share that with you I usually have these in the morning um, for breakfast to eat as my breakfast all right I'll check in with you all later hey guys good morning um, excuse my voice it's pretty early <laughs> I wanted to hop on really quick and share with you what I'm wearing today I'm getting ready to run out the door to go to work and I just wanted to share with you what I'm wearing today so I have another oversized sweater by free people I bought this also from Nordstrom Rack um, just like the red one so I bought it in black and I bought it in a light cream color and then I'm just wearing some jeans from Old Navy and then I'm wearing these new sneakers that I just bought from Nordstrom these are by the brand on cloud I have one pair already of these sneakers on cloud and then I bought another pair they are so comfortable guys um, someone actually told me about them because I do um, work in the medical setting and I do do a lot of walking at work so I was really looking for like another pair of sneakers that would be super comfortable with me being on my feet all day long for more than eight hours and these are like so comfortable I absolutely love them so I just wanted to share them with you let me I also wanted to see if I could get in close so you could see them but they have like these you know this is how like the bottom of it looks and they are just so comfortable it literally feels like you're walking on a cloud like they're so 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 comfortable if you work in the medical setting and you are or if you're just someone who does a lot of walking or hiking and you're looking for like some really super comfortable shoes I would definitely recommend to pick these up from Nordstrom I will make sure to link these if anyone is interested in these like I said they are super comfortable and I absolutely love them I have one other pair already so these are my second pair and they're really great um, on your feet and they really keep your feet comfortable all day long so yeah so I just wanted to share what I'm wearing today and I'm getting ready to head out the door. I did not have time to go to the gym yesterday when I got off work. So I am going to make an attempt to go to the gym today. Today is Tuesday. All right, so hopefully I will see you all at the gym this evening. And then hopefully we have time to make a stop by Target and just do a little shop with me at Target and see what new items they have as far as home decor all right i will check in with you guys later bye hey guys good morning today is wednesday february the 9th so today is the last part of this vlog before i uploaded um, later this evening so this morning i am going to make myself some breakfast and then I am going to do my morning meditation because I haven't done that yet, which I probably should do that first before I eat breakfast, but I'm just gonna eat something first and then do my morning meditation. And then after my meditation, we are definitely heading to the gym this morning. So I actually did not get a chance to go to the gym uh, the last couple of days because I was just too busy with work but I have some extra time today and tomorrow so I'm definitely going to the gym this morning and then um, I did not get a chance to go by Target and make a Target run I just wanted to kind of see what new things they have out if I see any other cute updated home decor pieces so we will definitely make sure to make a Target run this morning and then I do have to go to work later this afternoon just for a few hours. So um, that's mostly what we have on the agenda today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna make a little breakfast, very simple, just some eggs and toast. Um, I wonder if I should make some bacon. I feel like it's, it's frozen in the freezer, but um, yeah, I think maybe just some eggs and toast and a cup of coffee, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and make myself a little breakfast.
eggs are not not are like not sticking at all, like totally sliding across this pan. So it's a really nice pan. like a container for these and not in the box but I don't I probably will I actually do have another little mason jar so I probably will end up getting putting putting my cane sugar in a box in a little in the other little mason jar I have I'm trying to remember where I put it So let me show you my breakfast, some pretty simple organic eggs and toast. This is the Dave Killers bread. It is like really healthy, has a lot of protein and grains in it. Um, and if, you can even see on the side of the bread has a lot of seeds and whole grains. So I get this bread from Whole Foods. It's really a really healthy bread. Um, and then um, just some coffee. This is decaffeinated coffee with almond milk and cane sugar inside for breakfast this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and eat and then do my meditation. Hey guys, all right, let me show you what I'm wearing today before I head out to the gym. So I'm just wearing a gray, just random sweatshirt. I got this like a long time ago from Walmart. And then Old Navy Active leggings. And I picked these up a long time ago. These are also really old. I got these from Old Navy a long time ago. And then of course, these are my new uh, sneakers that I showed you guys yesterday. These are the On Cloud sneakers that I bought from Nordstrom online. So I talked about these a few days ago. I love them, they're super comfortable. So I'm gonna be wearing these out today. And then this is my vest. This is also from Old Navy. It's really old. I've had this for a while now, but I got this from Old Navy. I'm sure they still have plenty of vests, but I just liked it when I bought it because hopefully you can see it's not really that bright in my closet. I got to put some lights, some more lights in here, but um, it has like this rib detailing in the back and then here in the front. And then it does have two pockets on each side. It's really thick and warm like a cotton material on the inside so super warm I really like it and it has a high neck collar so if it's like really windy outside and it's blowing a lot of wind you know it'll still keep you warm around your neck area we're gonna go ahead and head straight to Target and see what they have um, new as far as home decor and any other items all right I'll see you all at Target Hey guys, hopefully you can see me. Um, I don't have anything in my car to like prop my phone up. So I just kind of propped it up here on my dash where my navigation system is. But I just wanted to um, share with you my lunchtime snack. So I have this Pearl Meal Bar that I'm going to eat and I got this from Whole Foods. So it's like 12 o'clock and it's pretty much lunchtime now. So I don't necessarily want to eat like a large lunch. So because I'm going to go to the gym and work out and I don't really like to work out and feel like I have like a really heavy stomach. So I'm just going to eat this pro meal bar as my lunch. Just want to share that with you. I just pulled up to Target, so we're gonna go ahead and head inside. Um, let's see what they have that's new for home decor or 
I, I might even shop around like the women's section and see if there's any any cute items like clothing items that are out and um, I haven't even looked at Target shoes in like a really long time so I might even stop and look at the shoe section and see what they have there but yeah let's go ahead and head inside Target and see what's new because um, I haven't been here in quite a few weeks since I bought the Costa Luna bedding so let's go ahead and head inside and see what they have So we're gonna start with this dollar aisle. I don't know if this is called a dollar aisle, but it's like the section when you first the section you first see when you come in Target that I notice a lot of people stop at. I honestly like never paid attention to this section, but um, I don't mind seeing what they have. So they have like this little tin can set here with the lid. This is kind of cute. Uh, and then, looks like they have like some placemats here. What are these called? Oh, these are decorative trays. They say, help yourself. This is super cute. Look at that. It's just like a tray. That is really cute. And it comes in different colors. It is like super crowded in here right now. It is just so crowded. I have like this little wall decor sign. This is really cute. It's three dollars. I like that. I'm gonna see what else they have. They have these little planters. These are super cute. Decorative planters. They feel like they're kind of maybe made out of like clay or stone. At least that's how they look. But I don't know what they're made out of. But they're definitely breakable they have these little mini water bottles these are three dollars these are super cute cute they have some candles over here oh how cute is this they have your initials on these little candles and this smells really good this is called sandalwood amber these are three dollars this is super cute this is so cute. I think I'm going to get one of these with my initial on it. And they have like all different kinds of candles, different initials. They have a lot of these really cute like dish towels. These are really pretty. They have these like really cute trays these are five dollars these are really cute if you want to like use it to store things on super cute there's a round one and a square one and then they have some spray bottles and then these little cute decorative canisters super cute and then just a lot of other little extra stuff So not too much with uh, that, what do they call it, five, three and five dollar aisle when you first enter Target. I didn't, really see t I didn't really see too much. So let's head to the home decor section and see what they have over there. Alright, 
so we're gonna stop at the Hearth in Hand with Magnolia Collection section of Target and let's just see what they have. So this like familiar bathroom decor. This is all still pretty much the same from when I was last here. When I got the Casa Luna bedding. And then they have these like decorative stone items for the bathroom. That's all pretty much the same. And then shower curtains and baskets and lots of towels. That's all pretty much the same. They have this really cute bathtub tray. This is really pretty. I have a bathtub tray already, but this one's really cute. I like the way this looks. And then over here, lots of bed linen and blankets. And then this is that pillow that I got for my bed, for my master bed from the Hearth and Hand collection. I really like it because it has like this beautiful detailed texture along the middle part of the blanket. They have lots of cute decorative pillows. Let's see. Okay, here are some kitchen items. We got some mugs. Got a tray here. Some trays, bowls, cake holders, some more bowls. Some more pillows and bedding. Some really cute, like black dishes. Look at this. These are pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at these. These are really pretty. How much are these? Oh, these are, oh my gosh. These are only $5.99 at Target. So you have these beautiful black dishes from the Hearth and Hand collection. These are really, really pretty. They have plates, bowls, cups and they're very affordable. They also come in gray. So I like this gray one, this one's really pretty. This one, it's also $5.99. Has like a beautiful rustic gray color and the edges, they have like these dark gray edges around it. Very beautiful. And then it comes in like an even larger like serving dish. That's really pretty. And then they come in these dark gray ones. Isn't this really pretty? And they have like a light brown with light brown edges. These are beautiful. So some of this I'm not going to be doing too much talking, just kind of showing you around with what they have. beautiful pots up here. Very nice. And then that 
that's the vase that I bought a few weeks back from Target. So they have that up there. It's really cute. decorative boxes so they have some beautiful decorative boxes I see like a lot of people buying these cute boxes so I think I'm gonna get one and put it on my dresser let me see how much it is so that's how it looks on the inside let me see how much this is oh it's only $20 this is really cute I think this might look really nice on my dresser. I'm not sure if I should get that tan one or if I should get the striped one. Let's see. Maybe the striped one here. still $19.99 for the stripe one so I think I think I'm gonna get this this is really cute to put like on my dresser to go along with my home decor items super cute let me know what you think down in the comments below about this box I don't even know what to store in it but we will figure that out later this is that decorative tray that I have on my dining table that I bought from Target, here from Target a few weeks back. And then, oh, this is like one of those stands that you put your cookbook on. Let me see, how much is this? Oh, it's only $20. This is really cute. I think I only have like one cookbook though, so even if I got it, like I don't even know where to put it though because my kitchen counter, I have a lot of stuff on there already. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get this. I will think about that, but it's really pretty. And then they have some, I have this really big, like super cute decorative cutting board there. And then another really long tray. That one's really, really pretty. That's like super long. So if you have like a big table or like a really big space to decorate, this would be perfect. Let me see how much this is. This is $34.99. Very nice. All right, let's look over here. Oh my gosh, look at these lamps. These are so pretty. I love these. Still looking for lamps for my end table on my bedside tables so I'm still shopping for that but let's look over here we are now entering this is like the threshold collection area oh so they have this really pretty tree here this is 150 I really like this tree and then they have this one that one's really pretty. I'm not sure how much this one is. Let me see. This one is, oh, this one's only 130. That's not bad at all. It's really pretty. And I actually like this one a little bit more with the white pot. I'm not sure. Should I get one of these trees? Thinking about it. Hmm. So I could put that. I feel like it might look nice in the dining room downstairs. I'm gonna think about these trees. Let's keep shopping. this 
really cute popular vase that I've been seeing here. Let me see how much this is. It's $30. lanterns and candles lots of decorative pillows I got a lot I got some of my pillows from the threshold collection from Target and then they have this little stool here this is really cute from the Studio Mickey collection I'm not sure how much these are They're probably like $95 that's really cute they have the matching one over here and they have this bench here this is super cute look at this bench that might look really nice like in front of my bed maybe that's really pretty and then they have this they have this gorgeous picture up here that's really nice some more beautiful vases and pots by Threshold Collection. So I definitely want to pick up this popular chain link that I see people get. This is really, really pretty. I definitely want to get this. It's really short though, I feel like. I wish it kind of had like one more chain link to it, but I'm gonna get this, it's really pretty. And then, I like this too. I'm just not really sure like where I would put it, but it's pretty. Then they have this beautiful tray. It feels like it's like made out of wood, but that's really pretty. And then they have this black one. Look at this black one. This is super cute. These are all like about $30. I think this is $30. That's really cute. And then they have these boxes. These are really cute decorative boxes. I feel like I like the one that I got though. That one looks, the one I have I really like, but they have these, these are cute. And then look at this bowl. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at this bowl guys this is super cute isn't that cute oh my goodness i love this this is really really cute i don't even know what to put in it and then they have this really cute pot here that's really cute it's 25 dollars and we have some baskets here. I love this gold tray. Look at this gold tray. This is beautiful.
right, so I was playing around with these faux flowers and this beautiful like gold vase by the Threshold Collection. Let me see if I can show it to you in the light. So I thought this was like really pretty and this might look really nice somewhere in my house. <laughs> but I saw these like beautiful faux flowers and I just put them in this vase and I think they look, it looks really nice. So I think I might get these and this vase. Let me know what you all think down in the comments below if you think this is really cute or not but i think i might get it these little um, stems these are like five dollars each and the vase is 25 dollars okay so the other thing i did was i swapped this vase out for this vase so i have this white vase i'm so sorry about the lighting but i have this white like ceramic style vase kind of looks kind of antique looking with the vintage lines in it um, I thought this was really pretty and then same flowers different vase and then I'm thinking about this gold tray this looks really pretty and having that sit next to this decorative piece here and these chain links how does that look I think that looks really cute. I just don't really want like this metal against this metal. Like if this was on here, I think that would be too much. So I feel like maybe light colors on here would look really good. So let me know what you think about that. I think that looks kind of cute. Okay, and then let me show you the other option. So I put this tray here. It's like a marble tray by Threshold with the chain links in here with the dark colored vase against the light colored tray and then the beautiful light pink flowers so maybe this one versus this one let me know what you all think down in the comments below i really like this vase i'm just wondering about the tray so let me know what you all think okay and then the last look is this vase I'm not, I wasn't really sure too much about this vase, but I put this vase here to see because it is clear and that probably looks good against the metal tray. Same flowers and then the chain link here and this other decorative piece there. Maybe I should have that decorative piece there and then maybe a candle here. Um, but let me know what you all think about this one as well. I'm not really sure which one to choose. I feel like I might buy everything. <laughs> and then just kind of see what I like at home. So, but let me know down in the comments what you all think, which of the three designs you like the best, the first one, the second one, or the third one. Um, yeah, all right. I think that is pretty much all that we're gonna look at here in Target. Um, I may walk down a little bit further, but I think this is pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and check out and then I will see you all at the gym. I just wanted to make one more stop by the women's active aisle um, after the home decor. So they have a lot of really cute like active wear. You know, I think at really good prices like these active pants are $30 each, different colors. And then they have these really cute, almost like Sherpa type material. They're like $30 a piece super cute i really like these especially like if you live in cold places like where i am in maryland so that's really nice to like wear and like snuggle up in and not feel cold i'm just going to open this up so you can see what it looks like this is like really really cute i love this and it has like pockets on each side so that's really nice really really nice and then I also, I actually decided to pick up this little hoodie. She decided to just pick up this little hoodie. So this was like really cute. It's only $18 and this is how the back looks. I just want like, you know, more hoodies. I don't really have a lot of like little hoodies to put on to wear to the gym. So it comes in this gray color, which I think I might throw this on and wear it to the gym. And then they have blue and black to just show you these. These were super cute. Like, you know, 
um, another like pullover, throwover type of hoodie or sweater and active wear. I thought this was cute. I really like this rib pattern here. And then it has like a little zipper here as well. Super cute, comes in gray and also in black. The last thing I wanted to show you were these really cute pants. So they have these like active wear pants. They almost feel like a very light like mesh material and they have they're like jogger style. Super super cute and they tie here. They have pockets on both sides and then this is how the back looks. They have po a pocket here on the back side right there but just really cute. They look really comfortable. The last thing I wanted to show or share with you were these really beautiful pajamas. They're by Stars Above and they have such a soft like quality to them. They have them in different colors. So pretty. I'm not gonna get a pair, but I just wanna share them with you. Look at that, really pretty. They feel so soft, like they are super comfortable. So that's the top and very long and then they also have matching like pajama pants look at those those are like super cute and they have this beautiful uh, dark color here this is really pretty they just feel so soft almost like just a soft blanket matching bottoms and then they have this one here this one's really pretty isn't that beautiful i love the pattern in it and it's kind of looks a little bit like oversized but just really cute it looks like it's really comfortable and this also comes with the matching pants I've never heard and it comes in gray as well I've never heard of this brand stars above but I really like this you know pajama section that they have really nice so i have to come back and shop more in this um under this brand and they even have like some beautiful robes as well look at these gorgeous robes they feel super soft and comfortable as well they come in different colors i love this white one that's really really pretty all right so that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and check out and i will see you all at the gym guys I hope you can hear, hear me over the gym music but I just wanted to show you that um, top that I got from Target so this is like one of their active tops so I got this and it has like these little pockets here in the front so I just threw it on because it looked really comfortable and actually the hoodie that I had on previous the sleeves are like really short so I got this one because the sleeves are longer but yeah so that's how it looks it feels really comfortable and it is like a stretchy material so i just threw it on because i'm going to work out and sweat anyway so i thought it would be you know cute to throw on all right so i'm going to get my workout in so come follow along with me So I just finished the <clears throat> stair stepper. I'm exhausted. See what happens when you don't go to the gym consistently. <coughs> you, you have a tough workout when you get back there, when you get back to the gym. So I'm gonna do some floor exercises now. I'm sitting on the floor here 
So I'm gonna do some exercises here on the floor and then I will check in with you all in a few. I'm exhausted already. Hey guys, I just finished my workout. I am beat, so exhausted. I got in a good workout. I even picked up a little smoothie here. So it's like um, like a healthy smoothie, it has protein in it, and uh, like strawberries and blueberries, raspberries. It's really good. I have the smoothies in the gym, so um, I just picked this up while I was in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Really hope you all enjoy this vlog. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Say something I don't know. I wanna know you better.